Coming up right now, scary moments for passengers as their plane tips backwards. We're going to tell you what might have caused it. Ooh, scary. Also coming up, it was a Wild West style robbery on the streets of Los Angeles in the middle of the day, and it was all caught on camera. <laughs> a little bit later on, Taylor Swift is branded the B word Ooh. after she secures a new title. Ooh. Relax, we'll tell you what it is. Daily Flash <laughs> starts right now. Get ready. For trending news and entertainment, this is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. Hi, I'm Mitch English. Welcoming you to Daily Flash for this Thursday. Very excited to have you here. We're mm -hmm. going to be checking in a little bit later with Matt Doolittle. Right now, let's just check in. Matty, how Hi, are Maddie. you? Matt, you just got back off some uh, vacationing? Mitchie, I went to Graceland and I came back a changed man. Cha oh, uh, I've no. Where, where's the sideburns? They're, they're, they're kind looking. of there. They're there. We're oh, getting, yeah, I'm growing them out, baby. Uh, uh, growing them out. Growing Can't them out. Can't Iron Man or the King. Well, yeah, I like <laughs> those, but. Very nice. Something like that. So I got a text from you uh, late Sunday about Matthew Perry. Yeah. Oh, and crazy, it man. was shocking. It really bro broke my heart. I mean, you think about it, he was part of a cast of a show, which we all sort of grew up on. And it was probably the last show that we all sort of connected or bonded yeah, with around the world because it was appointment television, right? So we were all sharing in that collective moment. I think, you know, what shocked is a young guy, first yes, off, you 54. think about it. And how honest he was in his autobiography, talking yes. about how he would uh, go to uh, to open houses and, during, and, then, and steal drugs out of the, yes. uh, the thing. And this is a guy who's a, a big Hollywood actor and still yeah. is doing something like that. So when you told me that, I went to his Instagram page, and, and I don't know if we can yeah. catch this on camera, but this really freaked me out because they said they found him dead in his hot tub, hot tub. in his backyard. And this was the last post that he had on his Instagram account, and the caption was, Oh, it's so warm. I am Matt Man. Matt Man. He kept on saying Matt Man. Well, come to find out, have you read the bio? His I have not. No, no, no. I haven't either. But I wish I would have. somebody mentioned, and I heard this this morning, I can't verify it, but somebody said in his autobiography, he talks about if I'm in trouble, if I'm going down the wrong path, I'm going to send the bat signal out. Interesting. And if you look at the last two or three posts on his Instagram account, they're all a little bizarre, and they all make reference to Batman. And, and, okay, once so much in his bedroom, or a bedroom in his place, he had three TVs put up on the wall, yes. and all of them said had Batman and stuff. And then up yeah. on the top was a laser thing that had the bat signal. And yeah. I didn't know that about yeah. what you said. That is kind of freaky. When I heard that, it sent chills up my oh, wow, arms. Just, yeah, you I You just know. tell me that's the first time I heard that. I mean, obviously, they're still investigating. They're not 100% sure what led to his death, but obviously, it sounds like his assistant Man. found him in the hot tub, and uh, he was dead upon arrival. All right. So uh, we'll see what's going on. Yeah. We'll find out more about that. Let's jump into some other, well, very scary moment for some passengers who were just trying to get off of a jet blue plane in New York. When the tail tilted back at the gate, we got video for you. Check this out. <gasps> it arrived from Barbados when it appeared to tip backward. Uh, while some passengers were still inside, the cabin were grabbing for their luggage. The jolt caused everyone inside to panic and grab hold of a seat. JetBlue officials said nobody was hurt. That's the good news. However, the plane will at the gate uh, and the gate rather were damaged. According to one commercial pilot, cargo is usually unloaded from the back while passengers exit from the front. If the ground crew wasn't following this procedure, a shift in weight could have caused that plane to become unsteady and tilt. You can imagine. Well, it's like a seesaw at that yeah. point. It's like the, the airline, Kim Kardashian of planes. Yeah, right. Yeah, big old button <laughs> in the back. Uh, the airline is actually going to do a full review to pinpoint the case of exactly what happened. But imagine you walking out. See you later. Oh, Bye-bye. <laughs> terrifying. Up. The good news, nobody got hurt. Though. Yeah, thankfully. My goodness. Uh, well, speaking of uh, <laughs> some frightening moments, crime yeah. and chaos surging in Los Angeles. And a recent video reveals a terrifying highway robbery in broad daylight. Four suspects, all wearing dark clothing and masks, were caught on camera getting out of a dark-colored minivan and running toward a wrecked sedan. On the video, police say you can hear one of the highway robbers yell at the victim to stay down and keep his hands up. The thieves continued to search the car while other drivers slowed down to see what was happening. One of the robbers even threatens a passerby. Moments later, a white Chevrolet Malibu pulls up to the crash as a getaway car. Investigators believe the victim's car was targeted. 
targeted by the thieves. And you're going to see this, and, you know, it's mob mentality. I mean, they're doing it now into, like, malls or high-end yeah. stores. They'll just, a, a group of people, and there's nothing you can do about it. And But you don't expect to see that on the road. No, and it's happening in states where they've really reduced any sort of criminal charges for most people, unless it's, you know... <laughs> For, I guess, for felony murder. Yeah. But this is outrageous. Like, who feels safe on the streets and, anymore? And if that was a random pick or whatever, yeah. you know, what if there was a kid in the car? What if something yeah. happened? What, what if they had a heart attack and somebody died? I think, yeah, it should be up for, for murder charges. So, like uh, oddly, I had something like this happen to me here in Orlando where we are. And uh, they, these people came up next to me, threw something in my car so I would stop thinking they hit me. And I got out, I'm like, there was no damage or anything. And I thought this was a little weird. And then all of a sudden, four people surrounded oh, my car. So I got out of there and then had to call the police later. I was like, I didn't do a hit and run, but also look out for this and everything. So I've, I've had that happen to me. It's terrifying. Yeah. All right, well, either way, just be careful out there. Keep your eyes open everywhere you the go. The city of Oakland, California, which is north of Los Angeles, recently launched an, a, a temporary app program to say, if your car's been stolen, let us know. They were swamped with so many messages <laughs> that they had to shut the app down. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yes, I do. This is California right now. Uh, pop star Taylor Swift is living out the American dream thanks to her recent tour and concert film, and she can now add billionaire to her Woo. resume. According to Forbes magazine, the 33-year-old singer was worth $740 million dollars back in June, making her the second richest self-made woman in music ahead of Madonna and Beyonce. Rihanna takes the top spot with $1.4 in net worth. Meanwhile, her Eras tour, which kicked off in March, has brought in more than $700 million in ticket sales. This means Swift has crossed into billionaire status. Tickets for her show averaged around $254, bucks, with some super fans paying up to ten dollars for the experience. And this number does not include the merchandise sales, like $75 yeah, hoodies yeah, yeah. and $50 t-shirts. Then also, fans also made a swift run to the box office when the Eras Tour movie was released in October. <laughs> Ticket sales for the concert film have crossed, already crossed over the $100 million mark. And you get that, you know, and she worked for it. I give yes. her this because she wasn't related to anybody. She started out in the country scene, which... Doing country very, fairs, county fairs. Working it, going to radio stations yeah. and saying, hey, listen, here's my song, listen, yeah, on her own. So she, I, I love the fact that she's self-made. Yeah. But, but but you think, there, I don't, I'm trying to think who else... You know, Beyonce at one time was the the, the big runner. Mm -hmm. I don't think she even got anywhere near where, where Taylor Swift is right mm -hmm. now. But there's got to be only just like one person that everybody focuses on, and that success breeds the success. Uh, at least I'm still Do you still think Travis Kelsey makes her, makes her <laughs> like the both. dinner bill? He better, man. <laughs> he just went and bought a $6 million house just to, uh, from his $900 million house. And they're like, oh, look, he's trying to show off to Taylor. He's like, got, well, I mean, she's a billionaire, dude. That, that's what happens when you, you know, you got you to gotta come up with the money yeah. if you're going to date you the You got to keep up. Yeah. Not He's, me, though. He could be marrying up, really. That's true. Yeah. think about I, it, oh, right? I think I'm certainly Definitely. Angry. There's a windsurfer. <laughs> he escaped a near-death experience after being body slammed by a humpback whale. Reminds me of my prom. Am oh, I right, Oh, hey, right now. <laughs> Hi, yes. All right, here's the video. 55-year-old Jason Bream was enjoying a morning ride off the coast of Sydney, Australia. We know that everything in Australia is trying to kill you. you. So he went out to sea. Creature launched out of the water Check this out, this video. The incredible moment captured on his GoPro. Whale's tail got caught in Breen's leg rope and dragged him about 30 feet underwater. Look at this. Look, it's him oh, underwater. That's crazy. Luckily, the board leash snapped from the force. He managed to break free, allowing him to swim back up to the surface. So GoPro for the day and for the save to see all that. And, you know, these whales, you know, they, they talk about how uh, smart whales are. Maybe they're smarter than us, and they're just kind of like at this point, they're like, listen, Get out of my yeah, way. I'm tired of this crap. <laughs> we're this, we're well, bigger than you They've had the orcas attacking all the fishermen boats and everything because yeah, they've had right. it with They're them. They're done. These yeah. whales are coming back. Man, Star Trek, what was it, 3D? Remember that one? Yes. <laughs> yep. It's starting it's to make happening. sense. Was there a whale connection? Yes, in there was a whole whale. They had to go oh. back to 1984 or something like that to save the whales. Remember when Save the Whales was yes, the, a the huge thing. Short? Sure, yeah. right. So this movie was based on. He did say that um, he was thankful that it was a younger whale. It was a juvenile whale because if it had been an adult, he probably would be dead. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Do you know mm -hmm. that a blue whale? I learned this just the other day. A blue whale, when it's born, gains 200 pounds a day. A blue wow. whale for one year. That's a lot of weight. That's what right? I feel like after Thanksgiving. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's whole December <laughs> for me. Day. Exactly. <laughs> An orchestra in South Korea was just led <laughs> for the first time ever an AI an AI robot conductor. No, not Al Gore. Oh. <laughs> I, gotta, I have got to update my jokes. That's, that's, a, that's a Thursday joke. 
All right, Ever Six, that's his name, made its debut leading the country's national orchestra. The robot with a humanoid face first bowed to the audience and then started waving his arms to control the tempo of the live show. Apparently he didn't care. He was waving his arms. <laughs> and he him. didn't care. He did not care. There was one problem. A robot can't hear. Critics said the robot's moves lacked breath or the ability to keep the orchestra engaged during a live performance, which is essential when it comes to playing in front of a live mm -hmm. audience. I've done this one time where it was like a charity thing. And it's, hey, guest conductor, Mitch English, you know, and I get up there. And I go, I don't know. Yeah. It's just put your hands up in the air. We exactly. all know what we're doing. Yeah. I think that's the case, too. Robot or not, you know, one of these things, is, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the million-dollar question. Can he raise the roof? That, uh, right. Could he? He can catch it on fire and, you know, the roof will be on fire and he'll be raising the roof, raising the roof when we return. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Time for our Parenthood segment. Our next guest is Zen Honeycutt. She is the founding director of the nonprofit Moms Across America, whose motto is Empowered Moms, Healthy Kids. I like it. They recently commissioned a testing on 21 of the most popular fast food brands, and the results were shared just two weeks ago during a congressional briefing on food toxicity in Washington, D.C. Zen, we welcome you to Daily Flash. This has got to be very, very important, but I want you to tell us what you looked for and what was the results of the testing uh, that, that you went through. Is this really going to change anything, how our kids eat, maybe even at school? Well, thanks for having me on, Mitch. I appreciate you and your team. We hope it will change things. Uh, the reason why we tested was because last year when we tested 43 school lunch samples, by the way, over 40 is a statistically and scientifically significant number that the USDA and the EPA and we hope the FDA will not ignore. Uh, when we were testing that school lunch samples, we learned from school lunch directors that fast food chains are often the suppliers of the food to our school lunches. <laughs> Yeah. What? And considering our childhood obesity, diabetes and, you know, chronic illness crisis, we figured we better go to the source and also test fast food samples. And Mitch, the results are abysmal. A hundred percent of the fast food samples were positive for lead and cadmium, very toxic heavy metals. The a hundred percent of the fast food samples were also positive for glyphosate, otherwise known as Roundup weed killer, 76% yes. were positive for harmful pesticides. And also antibiotics, Chick-fil-A sandwich had an aviary contraceptive in it. It's also an anti-parasitic, uh, anti but it's a known aviary contraceptive. That cannot be good for 85 million Americans consuming probably on a daily basis, as well as uh, our students in schools. Okay, so now when we say fast food here, so is it uh, they go, oh, I want to, I'm going to use uh, one of the popular ones. Hey, is, uh, I want a Big Mac, or is it like labeled and the meat might come from the fast food and we don't, they don't know that it's, you know, actually from oh, no. a big chain. It's from the fast food brand. Is that yeah, right? Our, yeah, our volunteers went to 21 different locations across the country, not just from one state, all across the country. They purchased three or four samples of each one of, of two types of different meals, sent them into the lab, you know, froze them, sent them in the lab. They never touched them. And the lab conducted testing on 236 different pesticides, 104 different veterinary drugs and hormones, glyphosate, heavy metals, minerals, vitamin Bs, which were sorely deficient in these foods. In order for a woman or a man to get the proper levels of vitamin B3 for the recommended daily intake, a woman would have to consume 333 Chick-fil-A sandwiches. A man would have to consume 380 in one day to get the recommended level of vitamin B3. And vitamin B3 is very important because a deficiency of vitamin B3 has been shown in prisoners and high school dropouts to lead to increased aggression and violence. Okay. And we all know that America has a problem with aggression and violence. So we at Moms Across America are extremely concerned about the high toxicity and the lack of nutrients in the food supply that Americans are consuming on a daily basis. I want to go back. I mean, you do obviously great things like this. It's going to help making sure our children are eating better, uh, even us as uh, moms, as moms feed the family, right? So yeah. that's great. But how, how did Moms Across America actually get started and, and why as well? Well, thanks for asking. Like millions of mothers across the country, I was struggling with my children's health issues. They had allergies, 20 something different allergies each, my three boys. They had at one point asthma symptoms, autism symptoms, autoimmune issues. And when I looked into it, I realized that genetically modified foods and toxins like glyphosate 
were had changed the food supply. It wasn't like that when we were children. And now the food supply is very different. When I made the changes, when we went organic, almost all of my children's health issues have gone away. Two out of three of my boys have not been to a doctor for nine years, except for sports checkups. Wow. We are saving thousands and thousands of dollars every year by paying the farmer instead of the doctor. What do you say to the the, the, the families that go, listen, uh, fast food is basically, the only, I have two jobs, I'm trying to pay the bills, and fast food's the only way I can do it, and fast food's cheap. You know, if it's, if it, if it's cheap and it tastes good, I can guarantee it's probably not good for you. But what would you say oh. to them? Yeah, it's not cheap when you look at the fact that on average, uh, an American spends $10,000 a year on their health care expenses. An average fast fast food worker only makes 26000 a year. The CEO of a McDonald's makes $1.8 million a month, according to 2017 numbers. You know, what we're talking about is a lot of CEOs getting very wealthy off this cheap food and the workers and the American public getting very sick and spending a lot of money on healthcare. And we spend $4 trillion in America now on healthcare. I think it's time for this to stop. I think it's time for violent and aggressive hate behavior to be addressed by providing access to nutrient dense, safe, non-toxic food for everyone, not just for the people who can afford organic. All right, thank you so much, Zen, for joining us. And there's plenty of moms out there watching. You wanna find more information on this and actually other things that you could find out, just go to momsacrossamerica.com. Thank you. Great information, Mitch. Thank you. Well, with seasonal spending in focus, we are all looking for ways to stretch the budget. Here's TV personality and new mom Maria Menunos with some savvy shopping advice. So I've partnered with Straight Talk Wireless to bring this really incredible value today that I'm so excited about. So basically, if you upgrade to their gold or platinum plan, you get a free Walmart Plus membership. Now, here's why this is cool. So imagine you are getting ready for dinner. You're realizing that you're missing a few key ingredients, but you don't have time to run to the store. They will deliver your groceries to your doorstep for free. You also get free shipping on anything you order. You get free streaming service on Paramount Plus, which I love. And then savings on gas, which is really important at this time of year because a lot of people at Thanksgiving like to travel with their families. And so you get savings on gas and there's so much more. And the coolest part is Walmart Plus members are saving up to $1,300 a year. That's a lot of money so that you can appropriate that somewhere else that will give you joy. So if you want more information, you can go to straighttalk.com. Still more of trendy news and entertainment coming your way. Looking for something that's going to be in the theaters, maybe streaming, want to watch a good flick. Don't worry, we got Ooh. Tony Toscano. We'll be checking in with him. And Screen Chatter coming up. And some Daily Digits, I believe. We'll do some with digiting. Matt Doolittle coming up. All right. All that and more right here on Daily Flash. Welcome back to Daily Flash CES. It is all about the electronics. And of course, the guy that knows all about the gadgets that show up here, Dr. Frank, so good to hang out with you, buddy. Great to be with you, man. Love having uh, you here. Having, yeah, we're in Vegas Live, baby. And, and we, we made it here, and we made it to where we probably only saw about, I'd say, a tenth of how many things are available here at CES. You can't you, see it all in the four days. The biggest thing people were talking about is this, is this TV that LG has out right, here. Right. Tell me a little about it. When I saw it, I, I, you think, well, see-through. Why would I want to see through television? Tell yeah, us about right. that. Well, the reason you'd want it if you live, let's say, and have a beautiful view out of your window, mm -hmm. the mountain, the ocean, whatever, a lake, right? You can put the TV there in front of that window. Makes sense. And basically, you decide whether you're going to watch TV, the back of the screen all goes black, or whether you want to see the mountain. Very cool. It's, yeah, it's very cool. And then what it does, it's completely see-through. It's unbelievable. They call it the transparent wonder. Okay. How about that? And, <laughs> and, and you pretty much you can put it up anywhere, right? Too? Anywhere, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it create, co completely changes the interior design capabilities of what you can do in your home and where you want to put a TV. And by the way, they won the Innovation Award for 2024. They've won tons of awards over the last 12 years. That's LG.com. Want more information on that? There's Again, we, there's so much tech that's out there. Uh, tell us about some of the Innovation Award winners that yeah. you have here. All right, there are several. Uh, the first one we're going to look at is a company called Hisai. Okay. Okay. Now, there's a product called LiDAR, and LiDAR is an acronym for light detection and ranging. Okay. Okay. Now, what does that mean? In other words, they're putting this in vehicles, Mitch. They license it to all the manufacturers, and it basically just makes a 360 revolution and sees everything. So it doesn't matter whether it, de it detects this. And what's really cool, it's a global standard, number one. Okay. Sure. And it doesn't retain any information. It doesn't, you, in other words, your face recognition, it goes away. It just processes it, sends the information immediately to the vehicle so it can make decisions. So it sees buildings, cars, okay. trucks, bicycles, 
motorcycles, and pedestrians. And, and we're going to see this more and more, more oh, vehicles, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, they're putting vehicles now, and some of the more higher-end vehicles, you know, exotics have it, mm -hmm. but it's all coming down the mainstream. Within a year, you're going, probably going to see LiDAR in almost every vehicle. Okay, and it doesn't use your Wi-Fi or, or Bluetooth at all? At all. It, you, it's constantly doing it, but doesn't save any of that doesn't information? Say, yeah. What it does, it gathers it and says, boom, this is what I see. I see a guy on a bike. Okay. Okay, you got to stop, and it stops the vehicle. So think of it as a 3D snapshot. Oh, gotcha. Called, you know, and it goes to a point cloud, and that's it. And of course, more information, PasaiTech.com. All right, very cool. Pasai spelled H-E-S-A-I. All right, nice home management. We want to make sure our home is functional. You got some good stuff here, oh, right? Oh yeah, I got some great stuff in there, <laughs> yeah. How about a remote control that basically, you can do anything you want with it. I so love shades, this. lighting, right? Okay, you can even mow the grass with it as long as you have a, a robotic <laughs> mower. And this of be course. Awesome. Yeah, and so what it does, it personalizes home control. And the benefit there of doing that personalization is it basically gives it everything to you in the palm of your hand. You can use your phone, you can yeah. use a tablet, okay. but you can also use the HR40 remote. And when you use that, what's really cool is that it controls everything in the home, doorbell, cameras, home access, anything. So ultimately, NICE allows you to manage your home mm -hmm. from the palm of your hand. Very cool stuff. And this was an uh, innovation winner as well. So oh, yeah, that's right. really and interesting. You, and by the way, their website is niceforyou.com. And it's definitely nice for you, for sure. <laughs> All right, other cool stuff out here is the oven. So we're going to eat better and oh, taste, my. our food's going to taste better? Yeah, all well, because of Sharp. Okay. And you know, Sharp's been in this business for a long time. They've been in the cooking business. Yeah. They basically, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the microwave was their responsibility. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know this. The turntable, Sharp invented that. Inside the microwave, Inside not the a, okay. They, so all these microwaves didn't have a turntable, okay? Makes all these sense. manufacturers way back like Litton and so forth, Sharp comes up, puts a turntable, and guess what? You cannot buy a microwave today without a turntable. Uh, wait, why would you? Right, would exactly. you so anyways, it uses quad heating technology. It's the industry's first gold carbon heater, and it gives you a charcoal effect. So think about that. It cooks the food and also makes it taste better. Right? Very nice. Yeah, I love along that. with convection, microwave, et cetera. But here's the big thing. It reduces cooking time by a third. So in other words, what normally would take 90 minutes mm -hmm. will now take 30 minutes. Wow, it's gonna cut down time big oh, time. Yeah. Sharp yeah. USA, that's the website Sharp for you to check out as well. Now, uh, you were telling me about the, that solar and you know basically making sure we're taking care of the environment and things that are lasting long. Yeah. When that gets with the tech world, especially when it comes to audio, yeah. these are the answer. Tell us more yeah, about this stuff. Yeah, this yeah, is really by cool. Urbanista, okay? And the band on the headset and also the, the basically your case on your earbuds has something in there called power foil. Okay. Power foil is a technology, and it also, which is so cool, it basically collects the energy from light. So it doesn't matter whether it's ambient light, daylight, sunlight, light from a, tr a, a table lamp. Wow. It doesn't matter. It constantly charges the device. Okay. So whether it's earbuds, headphones, right, or your speakers, uh, yeah, and it's waterproof too, right? Oh yeah, Bluetooth water. Yeah, these are all waterproof. Oh okay. All of them, which is so cool. And what I love about it is this the future. We're taking energy and not electricity. We're taking energy that's available in our environment and turning it into power. What I love about the, the headphones these Los Angeles is that when you're wearing them, obviously, because the solar is right there on top of it, it's constantly being charged. You never awesome. have to worry about it because, you know, imagine getting on a plane and your headphones are just totally yeah. not working well, anymore. Well, people say to me, I get to, the, I get to the gym, I forgot to charge my earbuds. Yeah. Now you don't have to worry about it at all. Dr. Frank, so so cool to hang out with you here. Yeah, man. And of course, if you want more details on any of this, your website? Oh, whatsnewdoc.com. All right. Or whatsnewdrfrank.com. You can get there either way. You can get there. And of course, all the cool stuff you can find on our website as well at dailyflashshow.com. You can see this interview. And of course, everything we've done out at CES, you can be able to check it out on our website. But you got to go there in order to be able to check it out. The website, one more time, is dailyflashshow.com. we got more Daily Flash, matter of fact, coming up. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hello, everybody. I am Mitch English. I'm Andrea Jackson. This is Daily Flash, your source for trending news and entertainment. We're always joined by our buddy uh, Matt Dula. Matt, you, Hi, you love your big football fan too. What, what's the thing that the National Football League always says about recording? You what, can't re-air this without the express written, written consent, consent of the NFL or the Players Association. So sure, you hear that yeah, all yeah. the time, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Well, all right. So the University of, of Houston. Uh, we'll call them, in this case, we'll call them UH. I like it. Are you okay with sure. that? Sure. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, so UH said, "Listen, we got to have new uniforms." All right, and they said, and they said, we gotta have them now. So we're, we want you guys, we want the most creative people out there making us some new uniforms. Okay. So they made some uniforms and they are almost identical to the Houston Oilers 
logo, color, everything, right? So they go, hey, look at it, buddy. It wears our new uniforms. And then NFL said, hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, this ain't gonna happen. Sent them a cease and desist. Uh, saying, you cannot use these. This, these are a rip off. And they're like, no, it's a little bit different. You do not want that phone call. It, no, from the NFL, nope. right? Mm -hmm. You don't and fight with the shield. So basically, they came back at University of Houston and says, listen, we are just paying homage to the, from 1959 till 1997, mm -hmm. Houston Oilers were in Houston. They left, now they're the Tennessee Titans. Houston Oilers, or any kind of Oiler doesn't exist. And uh, so they said, we were just playing, paying homage to that era where the Love You Blue was around. And this is actually paying homage to our police department, which everyone knows they have a different color blue, which is very similar to what okay. they're doing. So we'll see what happens. I, if I was the NFL, I'd say, hey, that's a great honor. Yeah. But they own it, right? Here's the thing. There is a high school in Central Florida that uses the Patriots. Yeah. Logo, and it is exactly like the New England Patriots. And the problem that the NFL or a franchise like the Patriots would have is because they sell merchandise, which looks Makes exactly sense. like their logo and their, I mean, from the lettering to the logo down to everything. You would think so they can be in big trouble for that. With the University of Houston and all the scholars in there. Like, <laughs> they could come up with something really original. Apparently they don't have a good law school at yeah. UH, right? Oh, my goodness. All right, so I don't think we'll be seeing the UH uh, uh, new team. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board yeah, and rethink that so. one. Well, some scary moments for passengers who were trying to exit a JetBlue pl Jet plane in New York when the tail tilted back at the gate. It had just arrived from Barbados when it appeared to tip backward while some passengers were still inside the cabin grabbing their luggage. The jolt caused everyone inside to panic and grab hold of a seat. JetBlue officials said no one was hurt, thankfully. However, the plane and the gate were damaged. Now, according to one commercial pilot, cargo usually it's unloaded from the back while passengers exit from the front. If the ground crew wasn't following this procedure, a shift in weight could have caused the plane to become unsteady and tilt. The airline is doing a full review to pinpoint the exact cause. The good news is it did win a contest at a Freaknik concert. It was actually a Back it up. Back that thing up? It's just a bouncing back in. <laughs> Make that thing clap in the back. Yeah, Does like, it have a beep? Like a reverse beep? <laughs> you would think. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Exactly. You know, there's big trucks that, I, I, you know, and the people, as you had mentioned, saying, you know, it, it's weighted. Matter of fact, that's why when you're in a plane and, and it's a smaller plane and you're a bigger person, they might tell you to get up and move. Yeah, because to they the have front to of the plane. do all that together. But it seems like they should have figured that out before they landed there. All there might be a job opening there. I think, no, there will be a job <laughs> opening for sure. No doubt the crime and chaos uh, are happening in Los Angeles, right? Just, I mean, you watch Grand Theft Auto, you play it, you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about. Well, now a new recent video reveals a terrifying highway robbery and it happened right in broad daylight. You're gonna watch it happen right now. Four suspects all wearing dark clothing and masks caught on camera getting out of a dark colored minivan, which right there should be a crime. <laughs> yes. Uh, and re ran through the wrecked sedan. Now on the video, police say you can hear one of the highway robbers <gasps> yell at the victim to stay down and keep his hands up. The thieves continue to search the car while other drivers slow down to see what's happening, rubbernecking. One of the robbers threatens a passenger. Moments later, a white Chevy Malibu pulls up to the crash as a getaway car. Investigators believe the victim's car was, was targeted by the thieves and, you know, could, could have killed them. Uh, you yeah. know, if you think about that and, and then the panic that happens all the time. And the guy, uh, a, by, a bystander taking the video there, as you mentioned, was threatened by these guys, but he's grabbing video because it's like, I can't believe yeah, I'm yeah. seeing this. And, and, and great evidence, possibly. We yeah. can be able to find that. More than likely, the Terrifying. cars that came up and assault, assisted were probably stolen in the first yeah. place in that, that way. All right, we have got uh, more Flash coming up around the corner. We don't mm -hmm. want you to miss out on all the fun if you go anywhere you will all right so don't do that more <laughs> flash more fun trendy news and entertainment right here on daily flash Welcome back to Daily Flash. Well, millions of online entrepreneurs across the nation are in the same rat race, finding the unicorn product to sell, where to sell it, and how to scale it. Robert Nickich, the CEO of Why Unified, joins us today to share that it's right in front of you. Welcome back to the show, Robert. How are you? It's really a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So your company, Why Unified, has gained attention on a national scale, something few companies can achieve for the right reasons. So why Unif what's Why Unified doing for entrepreneurs? You see, as an entrepreneur, you have an obligation. Your obligations are when you start any type of online venture, you've got to find the product. You've got to find a supplier. You've got to make sure that there's a great margin in between that you're going to make from it. At the end of the day, you've also got to prove the entire concept with advertising. Make sure consumers love the product, right? Make sure it's profitable. 
you see what we've done is we've brought that together all under one platform. So all the tools, technology, products, fulfillment, shipping, all the headaches of e-commerce we've brought under one platform. So entrepreneurs no longer have to really worry about what they're going to do. They don't have to have all the expertise of becoming an online entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. So it's all under one consolidated approach under one platform that we brought together. So it takes kind of that, that step of wondering out how to do it out of the way when it's like, you just focus on your product, we'll take care of the other stuff. Exactly, imagine you know building a website, You know how do I get these products listed on marketplaces like Amazon, Walmart, eBay? What are the products gonna be anyways? Are they compliant on those platforms? Mm -hmm. Do people even buy them? How many people buy them, right? We right. take all those question marks out of the picture. Okay, so your front and center and entrepreneurs want to know what are the top selling products you know, they've overlooked every day and how does Y Unified play a part in it? You see, it's the products that we all use every day. It's the Crest toothpaste we brush our teeth with in the morning, right? Um, it's the Starbucks coffee that we just sipped on. It's the products that you really wouldn't expect are the products that you should be selling. Mm -hmm. Everyone's looking for that unicorn product. What is that perfect product that's going to be selling, right? It's the consumable products. It's the products that are bought on repeat. It's the companies that have kind of created a monopoly that we've cut the red tape on. So entrepreneurs can sell these products now on Walmart, Amazon, eBay through our platform. And that's kind of where our business is uh, that's why we've become one of the fastest growing companies in the nation is because we've cut that red tape. For, yeah. Well, to, ABC News claims your company is influencing the American economy. Can you tell us more about how you've achieved this? I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a, big, that's a big achievement there. It, it certainly is. And look, I mean, what's the heartbeat of America? We've got entrepreneurs, small businesses, and we've got consumers. We've tapped into both markets. You see, our platform serves entrepreneurs. And consumers buy, essentially, from our entrepreneurs, our small businesses. So when an entrepreneur will get started with our platform, they decide to start selling brand name products on Walmart, Amazon, and eBay. Consumers are buying these products at a fraction of the cost. So now we're driving the American economy forward because we have families that, you know, through through tough times right now are saving costs on these products that otherwise in the store they might pay 30, 40% more for. So that's kind of how we've tapped into a little bit of the economy there. Well, and as the you know, economy's come back after you know what happened the last few sure. years, has this just kind of helped those small businesses go like, you know, I, I can actually get this into the market? Because it's such a hard area to break into. It is, you see, but you know, the biggest value add is through our platform, we've actually handled all the relationships. You know, that's why all these small business entrepreneurs are able to use our platform and actually make a great margin on selling these products is because of our relationships. Otherwise, regardless of how the economy is driven forward after what's happened, it's still very hard to make a great margin on selling these types of products. And marketing is usually the biggest part of that. And, and how do you guys kind of kind of navigate that for them? The beautiful part is with brand name products, people know the products, they want the products. All the hard lifting has already been done for you by all the major brands. You don't need to introduce Starbucks to anyone. They know what it is. They know where they're gonna go buy it. And ideally, you're just there at the right place at the right time. Um, that's the simplicity well, of our platform. You're, you're at the top of the list. Uh, <laughs> and where can we go for more information and, and where people can find to get on your platform? Sure, it will be whyunified.com. It's self-service. Once you go there, it walks you through the entire process of how you can tap into this opportunity. And I checked it out. There's some great uh, stories on there that everybody can check out as well to, to see all that. Well, Robert, thank you so much for joining us today. It was an absolute pleasure. We'll have this and more on our website, dailyflashshow.com. What is KSA Entertainment? It's trending news, entertainment, lifestyle, KSA Entertainment, culture, KSA. it's love, it's food, it's family, KSA. it's life, it's shopping, it's empowerment, KSA, KSA Entertainment, it's fitness, it's travel, KSA, it's fun, it's engaging, it's Daily Flash, Daily Flash Latino, life, love, shopping. This is KSA Entertainment. Joining us now is lifestyle and wellness expert Seema Cohen with some essential must-haves for the new year. Seema, welcome to Daily Flash. You got to tell us what we need for the ultimate 2024, Seema. Absolutely, Mitch, and Happy New Year Happy to New you. Year. Introducing Belle Cello Beauty, a new skincare brand committed to clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. Mama's favorite moisturizer, <laughs> a silky cream with a cool sensation ensures all day hydration and calmness. The Melo Cello Calm Balm, crafted with 100% natural ingredients, provides intense moisture for dry and mature skin on face, neck, hands, legs, and lips. 
elevate your skincare routine for radiant complexion. And you can find them at bellcellobeauty.com. This new year, elevate your routine with My Curie by Cow. Their purposeful and innovative products promote balance, cleanliness, and sustainability that create moments of perfect harmony. With My Curie by Cow, you can bring home meaningful simplicity and leave behind only beauty. Perfect for your New Year's resolution, and you can find them at mykiri.com. Picture this, makeup removal wipes that leave you feeling fresh without harming the environment. Natural Care is the world's first organic and natural hygiene brand for period care that now has makeup removal wipes. Natural Care's Cosmos Organic Certified Wipes are perfect for a clean beauty routine, ideal for the eco-conscience, compostable, biodegradable, and palm oil free. Only $7.99 on Amazon. Last but not least, want to elevate your skincare routine while also giving back to the planet. Metza Cosmetics is a woman-owned small business. Their formulas are vegan and cruelty-free, made of effective natural ingredients inspired by nature. For every order, they plant one tree with the help of Eden Reforestation Projects. They repurpose glass bottles and jars that can be used for candles. And you can find them at metacosmetics.com. I love these ideas because we're, we're giving, uh, keeping our mind on what's going on with the earth. But more importantly, now, Sima, I have to look really good because you gave me all great suggestions. Thank you so much. And of course, if you of want to course. follow Sima on Instagram, you can find her at Seema Cohen Official. And of course, we'll have this interview on our website, dailyflashshow.com. Stretching budgets is top of mind for so many of us right now, especially coming out of the holidays. To kick off the new year and make it easier for members to save on their health and wellness needs following the holiday season, CVS Pharmacy has partnered with savings expert Trey Bodge to give us all the tips and tools to save big. Welcome, Trey. Thanks so much for having me. CVS Pharmacy is holding their first ever Save Extra event, offering huge savings for your post-holiday shopping. Happening now and running through February 10th, dozens of hot deals and offers that are exclusive to Extra Care members drop every two weeks. Now is the time to stock up on everything from your New Year's wellness wish list, with great savings on products from brands you know and love, to trending brands from your social feeds, including cosmetics, skincare, wellness, and cold and flu support. You name it, CVS has it. To make the most of the Save Extra event, you must be an Extra Care member to reap the rewards. So if you don't have your own membership, it's time to sign up. The Save Extra event is only the first member-exclusive event following the announcement of CVS's newly simplified loyalty program, which now includes two membership tiers, Extra Care and Extra Care Plus. Extra Care now includes pharmacy rewards as a core benefit of the free program. And Extra Care Plus unlocks all the benefits of Extra Care for only $5 per month, including the new convenience of free same-day delivery of nearly all products in the store in as little as three hours, a $10 monthly credit, and so much more. To shop the Save Extra event, head to cvs.com forward slash Save Extra event or come in store to check out the sale now through February 10th. You can also shop the sale through the QR code on your screen. Tech life expert Jennifer Jolly shares her final insights from the big show and highlights products and trends that made some waves at this year's CES event. Thanks so much for having me. LG's signature new OLED T model is the 4K 77 inch see-through TV that is blowing everyone away out here. It's transparent as in you can see right through it. Even when there's something on the screen, the OLED T also has this shading technology. So you, you can have a dark screen rise up and transition from transparent to opaque and back again with the tap of a button. That means you can now put it anywhere in the room, even in front of a window. Expect this out later this year. Pricing to be decided. Utopia's new Carbon One Pro e-bike. Well, this is just another completely next level upgrade here. Onboard AI, LTE connectivity, even a chat GPT assistant coming. There's a voice control for the lights and speed. The bike can even sense where you're riding, hills, trails, roads, and react with the just right level of assistance. It is super light for an e-bike out after March this year on sale now for pre-order. Take a look 
at Lenovo's Magic Base Studio here. Cutting edge 4K webcam, integrated speakers included. It pops on and off thanks to some little connector pins there. The concept fan, LED beauty light, and super cute little robot companion add-ons hopefully coming soon too, but that webcam, it'll be out in April. Lenovo's ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 detachable hybrid though, that's the real showstopper here. It is a two for full Windows PC and Android tablet together. It's a high-end laptop, separate. It's two devices in one, that coming out in Q2 this year. A small but mighty gadget here, Shelly's quarter size mini Gen 3s can make any standard wall switch or socket smart. They are among the smallest relays in the world, adding instant automation to everything from lights to electrical appliances. And then you can control those things from anywhere you happen to be in the world. Crazy easy to set up yourself, work with most existing smart ecosystems, cost just under $12, and they just launched here this week. For one, getting all the buzz get what I did there. The Barsis 360 cocktail maker is the automated mixologist of the future, crafting fresh cocktails at the tap of a Bluetooth connected app. You pour your own favorite spirits, juices, drink add-ons into one of the six 30 ounce compartments here. The app then gives you tons of ideas of what you can make, or you can tell it how to make your favorite drink. It takes over from there. And all that's left to do is say cheers to new technology shaping our future. Back to you. Very important information there. Now, again, if you want to find out any information on this or anything else that we've been talking about here on the show, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to our website. It's dailyflashshow.com. There you'll find full episodes of the show as well as that information and links to find out even more information. The website, dailyflashshow.com. We'll have more right after this. Welcome back to Daily Flash. An alleged curse disturbs the relationship of a newly married couple as they try to conceive a child while co-starring in a new home improvement show. <laughs> Very many layers yeah. to this one. This is the Showtime must-watch series, The Curse. This isn't your typical home flipping show. My homes are reflecting the local communities. Come on. <laughs> and we're husband and wife. This is kind of <laughs> So what could go wrong? <laughs> Let's grab a quick shot of you um, giving money to that little girl over there. We're doing good here. We are good people. Thank you. We're really good. Got it. So all I had on me was that $100 bill. A uh, refund. That's not fair. It Come is on. fair. Let me go get changed and... What is that? That's nothing. This is... You don't need to see this. Why did you snatch back the money? Why didn't you just give her the hundred? I was gonna buy six of them for $20. I curse you. What did she say? I pulled in the Nazareth. What? What's feeling about that bad bit? What? Things have been a little weird. I just need some place. This thing that you're doing right now, it's helping the community. It's immune to criticism. Well, I can my Oh, Marjorie can speak to the work much better than I can. I think I'll let the work speak for itself. Just because Whitney has a moral issue with something that's happening, we just toss it away? This doesn't make sense. Um, is everything okay? Maybe this is all happening for a reason. I can't wait for this show to come out. <laughs> Everyone will get to see who you really are. You know you can tell me anything, right? Of course. This looks cool. Looks really it cool. Does I love Nathan Fielder too, and Emma Stone Emma too. Emma Stone, she's terrific. That does it for our show. These are <gasps> folks that help make the show great. We Look appreciate at that crew. you. Joining. We'll have more hey, flash everybody. tomorrow. Y'all take care. We'll see you when we look at you.